after 25 years of uh, making records and playing live, um, what are the main reasons that uh, make you going on with The Cure? Um, the primary reason is that I enjoy it. And I think that um, without doing something, I would probably um, slow to a stop and just die, actually. Cause the only th Unless I'm kind of um, creating something, I, I find after a period of time I get very um, anxious about what I, my own existence. It's a way of forgetting the fact that I'm here, I think. And The Cure is just a very good... Um, I think it's turned into a very good band, actually, for the, in the last sort of two or three years. So it's just it's a pleasure to, uh, to play songs with the others. It's as simple as that. It is, when it comes down to it, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't still do it. It's yeah. just that, I, you know... I think that the, in the, when I first started, I was more kind of driven to do something because I felt that if I didn't, I, w it w I would run out of time. I think that there's probably a change around about the, um, certainly probably with Blood Flowers actually, that I felt that, that was, I never thought I'd make an album with The Cure that was as good as Blood Flowers. And um, it, since then, I felt that I should probably enjoy myself more with the band. Every, every t uh, ten years you said that uh, it's time to stop with The Cure. Uh, could the, the um, Cure fans expect more ten years of your music? I say every two years, I say it's going to start every two years. You said that in disintegration, in probably before the uh, flowers. Um, but at the time, I know it's, it's kind of funny in retrospect, but at the time I do usually mean it. In fact, I always mean it. And um, what, what usually happens is someone leaves the band when I've said that, or the band changes in some respect. And um, I would like this lineup to make another album. We intend to make another album when we finish the... the when? Well, we're going to do some demos in, I think, at the end of September. Um, and we're pro possibly going to do another couple of concerts in October. And then we're hoping to record s this side of Christmas. So, um, But it depends on, on the words, because I've... I've um, I, can't, I keep rewriting the songs. It's um, I've never felt that I should worry about um, the Cure being a kind of career band. It's always been there as a as a, a vehicle for, m I suppose, my own expression. And it, it, the songs that I've written, I, the musically, I think it's really good. We've already done some demos for the new songs, but but lyrically, it's not very good. And I th and I don't see the point in them. Um, just bringing out an album that's, that I don't think is very good. It's not, you know, I've never done it before. So, so I'm, when I get home, I'm going to um, try and rewrite <laughs> the thing. When you made the blood, blood flowers, was your intention intention to to return to the past, or is that uh, what Cure really is? Um, I think it's more that that's that's what I consider the. the I don't know the style of music because it's very stylistically it is quite different to disintegration pornography, but there's a certain kind of soul to it that I think is, is what the cure is. You know, it's a we've tried lots of different things over the years, and some things have been successful. You know, on a creative level for me as an artist, they've been successful. Other things I've felt were rubbish and they've sold a lot. You know, they've been commercially successful. Um, but I always return to this idea of like what the Cure do best is a certain style, a certain type of sound, and it's um, and Bloodflowers is just another example of that with this particular lineup. It's um, it's just like it's the Cure sound. Uh, if you have to pick three albums and uh, three songs of your career, what will uh, will you pick? I'd pick one of the disintegration and Bloodflowers, and I'd pick the Hundred Years. Uh, the title track Disintegration and probably <laughs> the title track Blood Flowers, actually. Okay. Uh, why do you think that your music makes people shivering and cry? I, I think that because of a combination of the, of the music and of the words, and possibly to a, to a degree, I suppose, the fact that people have come to know me a bit. So it's a kind of combination of those three things that we attract a certain type of person, and I think that person is more likely to become emotional when listening to music. But, you know, if we if we play kind of heavy metal, <laughs> we wouldn't be attracting that kind of audience. So our audience is generally very kind of um, they're slightly they're slightly more thoughtful than the average audience. <laughs> it's not you know patronising the audience. They just start. They always, we've always attracted an audience that's actually really nice to talk to. That's why we've always got on with our fans because they're kind of they're pretty good people generally.
And what do you feel when you still see people uh, making up uh, and put uh, the the air up like you nowadays? Um, I'm surprised, actually. It's a surprise for you. Yeah, it's a surprise. I'm still doing it. <laughs> so why anyone else should do this? Uh, just one last question. Do you still believe that there's nothing left but faith? Um, I didn't even believe that when I sang it at the time. I don't. I, I have not had faith for so long that um, I don't even think there's that. I don't think there's anything, unfortunately. I feel like it, I'm, you know, I feel everything's utterly pointless. Sadly.